Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Anne Arundel County's live broadcast of our beautiful animals that we have available. We're going to start with the kitties. Um, first kitty is, are the office kitties we're going to start with. And the first one is Miss Lily. Miss Lily is eight years old. She is available for adoption. She is... Um, a bit temperamental. She's best as an only kitty. Uh, she does get along with dogs. Um, and now I can't find her in here. So, come here, baby. Hi, Lily. Come on. Come on. You have to get on camera. She's a beautiful brown tabby and white. Beautiful green eyes. And she is normally a social butterfly. Today, she's like she had her meal. And she's like, okay, let's, let's get up here in the chair, honey. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Come on. There you come. Yeah, look at you. And now you're going to show off. Now you're going to show off. Yes, she's so pretty. She's a classic tabby, so she has the bullseye on the side. And if you want a couch potato little buddy she is definitely that and she is likes dry food she's neat with her litter box and she likes wet food and now she's going to eat her breakfast so this is beautiful lily so if you have uh, an opportunity to meet her when you come to the visit us go to the front desk and you can ask to meet her she's in one of the offices then we have this other beautiful girl and she is also a brown tabby in white she and her name is Greta she was a give up and she is six years old she's a big girl too 15 pounds right she was very shy when she first came in here Greta 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 hi Greta Say hello. Yeah, say hello right in the camera. Yeah, with your pretty eyes. Yeah. And she has gotten to be a real love bug. A real love bug. So, if you're looking for another couch potato, she has to be an only cat. Does not like dogs or cats. And evidence is she'll sit in the window of the cat tree and look in the other room. So, we had to block it and she will hiss at anything that's in that other office. So... She is one beautiful girl and one sweetheart. She likes dry food, she likes wet food, and she's great with her litter box. So those are the kitties that are in the offices right now. We're going to take you outside. I'm going to do a quick one today because I have a meeting at 10 o'clock. And um, we're going to do take a look at the dogs. This is Jersey. Jersey's a pit bull mix, about two years old, found as a stray. She is available. Asked to meet her. This is Cora Ray. She is an American bulldog, three years old, found as a stray. Then we have Lizzie. Lizzie is pit bull mix, three to four years old. Found as a stray, she is available for adoption. She's marked orange, so she's had observations done and uh, asked to meet her. And we have Lucky. Lucky is a pit bull mix, two years old. And we have Lucy, pit bull, Boston Terrier mix. You can see in the bottom right corner, she's a lot of Boston Terrier. She's about 39, 39 pounds. She was found a, uh, as a stray with another dog named Ethel. This is Lulu. Lulu is available to our rescue partners. Uh, she's a cockapoo. She's 14 years old. She was a give up. Um, and she is in a foster home. And then we have Mahina as a shepherd mix two years old, 61 pounds, given up by owner with another dog. And 
Then we have Marbles. Marbles was actually adopted yesterday, so um, pending a neuter. So he is scheduled, um, he either was neutered or is scheduled to be neutered today. This is McLovin, a pit bull mix, about a year old, found as a, an injured stray. Applications are accepted, will be available in late June because of the injury on his head. Mr. Brightside, pit bull, great house guest, no accidents in the house. He is in a foster home. He's about nine months old. He was found as a stray, he loves other dogs, great on a leash, and they call him the kissing bandit. Navea is a female pit bull mix, two to three months old, found as a stray. She's in a foster home. She does better in a foster home. That doesn't mean the foster is necessarily going to adopt them. Usually it says foster to adopt if the foster plans on adopting. Nick, Nick's a pit bull mix. He's barky in his kennel, but real playful outside. He's also, uh, it looks like a pit bull and hound mix. So he likes the water and he's a real water dog. And we have Nova, pit bull mix, about five years old. Friendly, happy, confident, likes to cuddle with, with, uh, when you're sitting in a chair and is gentle taking treats. And he is in a foster home. Otis, Otis is a pit bull mix, five years old. Handsome boy. Papa is a pit bull mix, about five years old, 54 pounds. He was found as a stray and he is available for adoption. Very handsome. Brindle, like a tan brindle. And we have Ralph. Ralph's adoption is pending. Um, he has not been neutered, so the adoption is pending. He's in a foster to adopt home. He is eight years old. Um, he's about 30 pounds. Rebel, pit bull mix, about a year old, found as a stray, was given up by owner. He likes, he is housebroken. He enjoys outdoors. He likes baths. He likes chew toys and he's great around other dogs and he's just curious about cats. Then we have Remy. Remy's a real doll baby and real easy, has a lot of spunk left in her. She's about nine years old. She's about 91 pounds, given up by uh, the owner of Emily and Christina. She is in a foster home. Sandy's a dachshund mix, seven years old, available only to rescue partners. And she is in a foster home. Then we have Secretariat. He's one of the favorites of the volunteers. Um, he's very anxious in the cage, but he's a gem outside. He has a wonderful time playing with other dogs. His manners have been fabulous at public events. Um, he's about three years old, 63 pounds. And we have Sweetie, three years old, 30 pounds, small pit bull mix in a foster home. And we have Taro. Taro is a Rottweiler, about a year old, um, 81 pounds, found as a stray. Applications are being accepted, asked to meet her. And we may have the uh, three, already three applications on her. You'd have to check with the front counter if you're interested in her. Wispy is a female pit bull mix, about three years old, 51 pounds. Very social, happy pup, walks well on a leash, knows some tricks enjoys playing with other dogs. We have Zeus. Zeus is a German Shepherd, two years old, about 85 pounds, loves to uh, play fetch and cuddle with you, given up by owner. He is on an inexpensive medication for his occasional seizures. He is available for adoption, asked to meet him. Then we have Trey. Trey is a pit bull mix. He's 11 months in this June. He's about 50 pounds. He's being fostered by a shelter rescue partner called Tara's House uh, through one of our uh, shelter volunteers. So if you're interested in him, you can see him. Um, we encourage you to um, come in, look at our screen, because some dogs are in foster, some dogs are um, 
not in the shelter because they just don't do well in the shelter, so the fosters take them home with them and have a home-like situation. Um, we have um, cats that are the same way, especially the kittens. The kittens go into a foster home until they're about eight weeks old, and then after eight weeks, um, they are um, able to uh, be adopted out after they're spayed or neutered. So I'm going to have a meeting at 10 o'clock today, so I'm going to kind of cut this short. Um, we do want encourage you to visit the shelter today. The shelter is open from 10 until 6. We have lots of cats and kittens that uh, need homes. We have lots of dogs that need homes. Um, please um, ask the front counter about anything that you might see over on any of the screens or if you see anything in person here, um, we would welcome you uh, to fill out a pre-screen. If you are filling out a pre-screen, please be sure you come prepared so that your pre-screen can be approved uh, within a 10 or 15 minute period. For example, if you have cats or dogs or ferrets at home, you have to have proof of current rabies vaccination. Just bring in the rabies certificate that you get from your vet or from one of the clinics that you've been to. Um, if you um, are leasing or renting, we're going to need information on who to contact, um, who is either the owner of the house or who is actually... Um, on your lease, uh, whether it be an apartment complex or whatever, so we can verify that a particular dog or cat um, is not restricted from you having that. Uh, some apartment complexes and owners do not uh, let certain breeds or certain animals with above a certain weight. Like some say, okay, nothing more than 50 pounds. So you want to make sure that you have that kind of information available to us when you come in for your pre-screen. That makes everything go so much smoother and so much easier. I'm trying to say this on each of the times that we do a live so that it does reach everyone. The other thing is, is that the kennel does close. Um, at, in this particular instance, it'll probably close at 5 today and be closed for about a half hour. So they do some feeds, some afternoon feeds. During the normal days, when we're open 10 until 3, the kennel does close at 2 o'clock. Um, that doesn't mean the cat gallery does. It just means the kennel does. So, And that's to let them go in there and clean and feed and because um, we closed in at 3 o'clock that day. So please keep that in mind. All that information is on our website. So if you have any questions, you can certainly ask any of the front counter staff or any of the, uh, any of the uh, available volunteers. They should be able to answer most of those questions. So we hope you have a great day, and we hope you um, can come visit us today. Again, we're open 10 until 6 today. Thank you so much.